So it's been a little while since my last video upload and a lot has happened since then and so I would like to talk about it. Um, but first, because it's been so long, let me kind of reintroduce myself. Hi, my name is Rihanna. Um, I also go by Seren or Seren Faye. I used to be a VTuber. I am not doing any VTubing anymore, and I could talk a little bit about that also. I also stopped doing art for like over a year, and I recently, as of like October of last year, really started getting into doing art again, and it's reignited my passion for it, and in general, I just wanted to start creating again, and I've gotten inspired to make videos again. Before I get into it though, I just want to apologize for my voice. It's spring, which is fantastic because I feel like I actually have the energy to live life. I still take a lot of naps, but in general, I just have a lot more energy than I used to. But because it's spring and there's pollen, I sound a little sick. Um, and I don't know how long that's gonna last, but just bear with me. So anyway, without further ado, let's just get right into it. Oh, also, because it's been so long since I've recorded, I my voice is probably a little shaky. I feel like I sound a little nervous, so sorry about that, but I'm doing my best. So the reason why I haven't been posting or really been online much in the last like two-ish years, I think, I think it's been a little longer than that now, but the reason is because I had a baby. <laughs> I'm a mom now. Um, and if you told me like three years ago that I would be a mom, I probably wouldn't believe you. But here we are. <laughs> and it was an adjustment. I'm not going to get into specifics because I know that this entire topic can really freak people out sometimes, so I, I don't, I'm not trying to get into like the nitty gritty of anything, but I would just like to explain my feelings about everything um, briefly. So first of all, pregnancy for me was difficult. It was a huge adjustment and I was so tired all the time. And naturally, I'm just naturally a tired person. I do not have a ton of energy. I never really have. So my default self of wanting to sleep all the time, plus trying to grow a human being, made it for a very tired person. <laughs> and I feel like I slept like basically that entire like nine months. But even after that, honestly, I didn't have a ton of responsibilities. I mean, I do own a house, so of course I have to take care of my house and pay bills and all that fun stuff and I have a job, but if I really think about it, I didn't have all that much responsibility. So I kind of went from having not a lot of responsibility to having arguably one of the, if not the biggest responsibilities. <laughs> and that was a huge adjustment, just in terms of lack of time, lack of sleep, also kind of lack of self-identity for a while like for a while there because i couldn't i didn't have the time to do the hobbies that i like to do i didn't have time to game and when i or do art and when i did i was so tired that i would just rather sleep so for a long time i didn't do anything that i really wanted to do and it made me start to question like did i even really enjoy doing those things in the first place like who am i what what's going on <laughs> And it was really hard, but finally when I started getting a little more time and a lot more sleep, I actually started doing my hobbies again. I started sketching a little more, um, playing video games. I still don't play video games that often because I, I still don't have a lot of time for it and nowadays I would just rather spend my time drawing or spending time with my husband because I mean we don't get a whole lot of time together. So it, there's just a lot of time management that I didn't necessarily have to worry about before that I really have to worry about now. 
Um, but I think I'm finally getting into a pretty good groove with everything. And honestly, having the break from my hobbies, especially from art for such a long time, was kind of a good thing. I feel like I've been able to kind of reboot my brain processes, or at least like how I think about art and creating art and what it means to be an artist and just how I go about making art. Before, I have always been a huge perfectionist and I think to a pretty large extent I still am, but I've always wanted to do traditional art and I'm finally playing around with it. I used to be so scared. I don't know why, but I was just so scared to just be loose and make things that aren't perfect, but are just fun to make. And I'm finally doing that now. I finally feel like, hey, you know what? Life's pretty short. I don't have a lot of time. I'm just going to do what is fun and what I enjoy doing. And whatever it is at that moment, I'm going to do it. So in that sense, having that break really allowed me to get a perspective on things and not worry so much about making every single thing absolutely perfect. And a big problem when I was VTubing was I felt like everything had to be perfect. I felt like every stream, nothing could go wrong. The audio had to be good. The like everything I said, I was like overanalyzing everything I said in the streams. I was making sure that the like the away screens, the starting now, the thanks for watching, all of those different little screens just had to be perfect to my standards. And of course they were never perfect because my, stand my standards are impossible, but as perfect as possible. <laughs> so it was just a lot of stress and I feel like now I would never want to subject myself to that kind of stress or if I ever did either VTubing or just streaming in general, I just wouldn't go about it the same way. Like I would definitely try to make cute graphics because I did minor in graphic design in college. Like I like doing it to an extent. I don't love graphic design, but I do enjoy it a little bit. <laughs> but, um, but I just wouldn't go about it the same way. I would be a lot more relaxed with it. And I feel like just in general, I'm a lot more relaxed. I'm also a bit older. I'm 30 now. So maybe that has something to do with it too. But yeah, so in general, I think this break was pretty good for my artistic brain. But I think that's all I really wanted to say about like what I've been up to when I've been gone all this time and kind of where my brain is now. Um, compared to where it was. I've been talking a lot more than I thought I would, than I thought I would. <laughs> so uh, let's just start talking about the artwork that I'm making in this video. Um, I wanted to do a sketchbook spread because for the first time in my life, pretty much, I've actually been working in a sketchbook consistently and I'm even almost done with this sketchbook. I maybe have like maybe 10 more spreads or so. I don't know. I didn't really count, but I'm getting pretty close to the end. And that is just absolutely wild to me because again, with my perfectionism, it would never have allowed me to actually sketch in a sketchbook and make messy art and just be okay with that. But I am now and I consider it just practice and it doesn't have to be perfect. I don't want it to be perfect. It's just for fun. So what I chose to do today was a sketchbook spread of sea dragons, which are a type of seahorse, and they are absolutely incredible. I've just been kind of really obsessed with sea life recently. I think it's because sea creatures, they're colorful, they're weird looking, they're kind of what I imagine space creatures would look like if they were just creatures floating around in space. I think they would look like, like sea creatures because they're like nothing else that we see like on land um, or even in lakes. Like, they're just so cool. So I've been drawing like sea snails slash slugs, um, seahorses, sea dragons, and just all the little sea critters. I just think they're super cool. The materials I'm using are gouache, 
colored pencil. I have the Artex brand colored pencils and they're really good. They're pretty cheap. Um, but for the price, like I, I'm, look, I'm not a colored pencil expert, but I was really impressed with the quality of the colored pencils. I still really like them. Um, and I'm using the Caran d'Ache Neo Color 2s, which are, they're called wax pastels. And I, I see why they're called pastels because they're a little messy, they're very creamy, but at the end of the day, they really feel like just super high quality crayons, which I love because it, it makes me feel like I'm coloring with Crayola again, which you totally can. And honestly, you should because I color with my son every once in a while and it is just awesome to pick up crayons and just doodle with crayons. But anyway, I digress. So I'm using these materials together because I kind of wanted to see how they would look. And so far, I think I prefer gouache with colored pencil. But I think that might also just be because I have some experience with gouache and I have a lot of experience with colored pencil, but I have no experience with the wax pastels, the Neo Color 2s, because I had never really used them before um, until like a couple months ago. Um, but I think they're really fun. I just need to kind of figure out what my process is going to be with those specifically. They're pretty cool because you can actually water them down and you'll see me do that. Um, you could take a brush with water and scribble some color on the page and then with your brush go over it and it'll like melt the colors and kind of look like watercolor but with a slightly different texture. It's pretty cool. It's kind of like watercolor pencils but again like the texture is a little different. But anyway I think that's pretty cool so I'm excited to play around with that a little more and see where we get with that. <laughs> Um, I also wanted to apologize for the lighting. I'm doing my best, but I am pretty new in general to video editing and especially things like color grading and fixing the white balance in videos and stuff. And the way that my desk is set up now, um, the light is really inconsistent and there's not really too much I can do about that. So again, I'm doing my best. It's not going to be perfect. I'm sorry in advance. I don't have a whole lot more to say, um, but I guess I can talk about the materials that I like to use a little more. So the sketchbook that I'm using is from Bailey J. She makes, she's been on YouTube literally forever and she makes art and she does vlogs and I love her vlogs so much. Um, she is also a perfectionist, but like she takes it to the next level. All of her products are like meticulously planned out down to the packaging, the spacing of everything. It's amazing, honestly. But because of that, like her stuff is really good quality. So I got a sketchbook and it's made with cardstock, which is really good for like alcohol markers, um, which is what she mainly uses. She uses like Copics, um, but the paper is like super smooth and it's also pretty thick. And honestly, it takes everything that I've thrown at it like really well. I don't really like using um, like watercolor paper that's uh, cold press, I think it's called, the kind that like has a lot of texture. I, I like really smooth paper and this paper is just, has just been really fun to use. I don't love the square format of the sketchbook, um, but I just thought I'd try it out and the strawberry embroidering is just like super cute. And the sketchbook itself, like I said, it can handle like watercolors and gouache and basically anything you throw at it. So that's been great. Um, I'm just using like any old paint brushes. I really like the the Princeton Velvet Touch uh, paint brushes, uh, but I also have a random set when I got, I, <laughs> I got a set of Hemi gouache and I used them once and then they all dried out and then I decided I wanted to try professional grade gouache. So yeah, but I still have the paintbrushes and they work, they're fine. No, no complaints, no praises. It's just, you know, it's a paintbrush. Um, and like I said, the, the colored pencils I'm using are um, Ardex colored pencils and I already talked about those. And the Caran d'Ache Neo Color 2s. I've, I've gotten a lot of art supplies the past couple months because I've just wanted to try things. I had just done so much digital art in my 
entire career as an artist, but I really love watching people's YouTube videos. Hi, baby. I love watching people's YouTube videos of their traditional art and just seeing all the art supplies that they use really inspires me. So I just wanted to try things and I think I'm finally figuring out what supplies I really like, what supplies maybe aren't so much for me. Um, yeah, but I'm gonna just keep playing with things and seeing how I feel. But I think that's all that I had to talk about. So if you made it this far, thank you. I really appreciate it. Um, I hope you like the artwork. Let me know which little sea dragon is your favorite. I think my favorite is either the lime green one in the upper left corner or the rainbowy colored one in the upper right corner. I like those ones a lot. Um, but yeah, let me know which one is your favorite. And also let me know what art supplies you like to use. I love talking about art supplies in general and hearing people say like what they like to use, talking about their process. So yeah, just let me know in the comments. Mom. Say hi to Diana, my kitty. And yeah, I'll leave you be for the rest of the video. So thank you so much for watching. And I don't know when the next one is, but uh, yeah. Okay, bye.